Boys and ladies, I am Indy Ben, and welcome back to Mount and Blade, the Warband Crisis. No, not Crisis, I'm silly. Okay. Um, anyways, in the last episode, we fought, we conquered, we did some cool stuff, and I think most notably we got this great rusty Bardiche and this heavy mallet. The heavy mallet does a ridiculous amount of damage. Basically, we upgraded our character's equipment a fair bit, and we've got our troops to sort of a new level of veterancy. Which I'm pretty proud of, actually. We might wind up taking on that castle a little sooner than I originally expected. If we continue growing at this rate. So we just got another few troops. We're pretty much replenishing everything we lost in the last battle. Which comes out to a pretty much a net gain, because, you know, um, we did get some increased experience. We'll grab our money. We will not buy any actually that's probably not gonna be a good idea not with the amount we have and we will hmm throwing axes I don't think throwing axes are as good um, so I'm not gonna bother but what I will do is go to the tavern and try to okay <laughs> uh, I think I'll try to sell off oh it's Sigmund Sigmund is cool Yeah, once you're a lord, you can get, you can use him to, hi oh, actually you can hire freelancers, where basically you get to decide what their supplies are. They're a bit too expensive for me right now, so I'm not gonna actually do that. But once I become a lord, it might be pretty cool. Alright, so now, I think it's gonna be good to just sort of do this loop. Grab a few more recruits. Ooh, see if I can't join this fight. A lone warrior traveling towards Torcuba. Torcuba. Okay, so basically there's a tournament going on. That's nice. We will rush to the aid of the enemy, of the friendlies, sorry. And we will charge the enemy and wrestle them to the ground. Okay, so our, horse, our new horse should be a fair bit faster, as well as a fair bit, a, a hell of a lot more armored, actually. I think more than double the armor. And he looks pretty. But that armor is good, because it means that we're going to be able to take a, a few more hits. We're going to be able to get out of sticky situations. And be almost impervious to damage from rocks and stuff like that, that farmers throw. Okay. Alright, the main thing I want to do here is get some more experience for my troops, rather than take it all for myself. Although a little more strength would be nice, so I can use my mallet. Now, okay, that's a friendly. Now there are friendlies involved, so if they can be the ones to die, that would be that would be great. I don't want to lose too many troops, especially not the ones I put a lot of time and money into training. Yeah, all right. So that went pretty pretty much without a hitch. I think we might have lost one guy. Yep, we lost one level three. Okay, fine. Um. We met the person. I gain renown. Nice. Those aren't as good, so we will let our heroes do nothing, I guess. Okay, party. Getting some upgrades. That's great. And five more berserkers. Excellent. Okay. So we wanted to head up to Jail Beggy. And grab those volunteers. One or volunteer. Fine, it is what it is. And I'll head to Ambine. And get another one. Okay, fine. Now Mechan? Maybe? For another one. Oh, okay, hmm. It's a little strange. We got another four berserkers. Great. And we will try to loot. Tabaral. Now I want to be very careful so that I do not get murdered. I would like to become... Hmm. I think I'll renew my contract because that's a good way to just become directly a lord. Uh, 
Okay. No, I want to get out of here. Hold up. Uh, he's pretty much... He's got some good units. I don't want to mess with him, I don't think. Although, that being said, forest bandits, a lot of them. Your money or your life. I'll give you nothing but cold steel. Charge the enemy. These guys aren't too strong. So I will, I will not be... Uh, actually, you know what? I think I might hold... Um... Hold the position, infantry, advance 10 paces, infantry, infantry, formation orders. I think I want them to stand closer as well. Because um, what's going to be nice now is we have also a wall protecting our archers. But the forest bandits, if I'm correct, have a lot of bows and arrows, which could be kind of tricky. So I'll try to take them out as much as I can with my javelins, because I think they are somewhat soft in terms of their armor. Nice. Yeah, die, bud. Eh, sorry, I'm concentrating. Huh. 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 Okay, party each time. They do not also they also do not have a lot of shields, so it should be pretty easy for us. Okay. Infantry charge. Alright, they're all dispersed, so a charge should be very effective, especially with all of us coming out of a very tight formation. We should start to see the chat filling up with blue. Oh crap. That's a lance for you. Thank you, Bardish. Holy crap. The damage is unreal. No, do not run away from me when I'm talking to you. Oh man, okay, he's gonna get away, whatever. No big deal. Um, we lost level 2, we lost level 1, that's fine. We are gaining enough experience to counteract all of our losses. Um, this battle was a success. Plus, I think we're gonna get extra prisoners. Actually, I don't know about prisoners. I think, I think we're gonna get um, the opportunity to hire a few more people. We are a little bit blood soaked. I mean, we got some kills, right? We performed admirably. So let's just wait for the enemy to retreat, which they are about to do, and then. Spinning, 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 spinning ballet. Ooh, we got a, an arrow in the back. That can't feel good. Yeah, thank you for that suggestion on the Bardiche. This thing is actually pretty great. <laughs> okay. No, I don't want to retreat. Everyone's cheering. We won. There we go. We lost four. We got lost three level twos. Okay. Yeah, get Manhunters, Mercenary Horsemen. I'm not going to take them because Mercenary Swordsmen, I believe, are about as good as a level three or four. And compare the price. 17 to... Oh, 19, okay. Versus 10, so... I don't know, I think overall... Um... It's kind of a wash. I, I just want to sort of keep my unit list small, so I can see exactly what I have. Okay. Five men. Yeah, that was a very productive... Productive battle. Um... Item pool, we're all set. Okay, no auto upgrade, that's fine. So... More forest bandits. Let's fight them if we can. Although, this could be bad. I do not want to be... Alright, sweet. Yeah, I don't want to be, um... Fighting them, like... Ooh, okay. Um, yeah, charge. I don't want to have to fight them, uh... In terms of range combat, because they... They outrange me. They don't do more damage in range, because we have the throwing weapons, but they have longer range. Which could be kind of rough. They would just sort of be peppering us with arrows. 
Now we do have sort of big Nord shields, so I'm not too worried about that necessarily. However, all right, so these guys have some Rodox in their force. I want to make sure we take those guys out so they don't kill my horse like last time. Because Rodox a lot of times will have lances, which absolutely cripple horses when they're using ground combat. Oh yeah, and didn't we get an upgrade in the last battle? I think we did. Or a level up, so I think we'll take that soon. Oh man, lost a level 4 archer. That sucks. But in this in this sort of big old battle, we should be gaining back any experience that we've lost through deaths. Oh man, the range on this thing is is brutal. Yeah, this thing is incredibly easy to use. Get hit with an axe, bud. Or a barnish. Yes. Yes. Here we go. How many kills did we get? We are... We, are, we definitely got a bunch of kills. Ten. Alright, cool. We lost one level four. Um, we might start taking manhunters soon. I think I want them as my cavalry. Especially since they can upgrade to get elephants. Freaking elephants, dude. It's crazy. Alright, and of course, tons of upgrades. One second. Alrighty, sorry about that. We're just getting a, little, a few upgrades out of the way. And, uh... Do an auto upgrade. I don't think there's anything worthwhile. Some grapes. Yes, we want to take those. The grapes of wrath. <laughs> Alright. And now we should be pretty much able to take on most forces. Um, our weakest guys, of course, are still... Our level 2s, actually. We've got a few of them. Um, but mostly we have these guys. Some pretty decent level, level 3s. And we've also got... 10 level 4s, so, so yeah, yeah, this force is pretty, pretty sizable, pretty nice. We'll go to Tabaril, or we'll go to Chide, I think. Whoa! <laughs> Dude, okay, I'll fight you to the end. Um, we'd lose 10. Now, they're strong soldiers. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold. Hold this position. In fact, let's see if we can get a little bit higher ground. We can hold here, infantry, advance 10 paces. Now they're going to be coming up over the river. So we're actually going to wind up trying to go infantry, hold here, archers, hold there. Okay. Sorry, did I say there? I meant there. Okay. Um, then infantry, stand closer. So in order for them to attack us, they're going to have to be crossing the river, which makes them vulnerable. And if I remember correctly, they they were joined by, uh, I think they were joined by villagers. So they should have an a significant amount of their army occupied by villagers. Okay, hold there instead. This looks like they're trying to just attack us from the side of the river. Okay, now I'm going to try to see if I can't chop their leader, chop him dead. Or at least mess up their horses. And retreat is always an option, by the way. So. At least I think it is. So we did a bunch of damage to that guy's horse. He shouldn't be bothering me too much. Killed a shield. Wow, this thing's great. Okay, so in range, we seem to be eating them alive. Oh. Shoot, 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 shoot. Bad situation again. Ow. Luckily for us, we have some pretty decent armor. Okay, now, infantry. Please charge. It seems like their infantry is pretty terrible. 
All right, and these guys, I believe, are level seven archers, so it's gonna be good to kill them. The retinue guys, I think. So far, we are crushing these guys. Killing their good infantry and archers over here. It's very good. Our, this means our troops aren't going to have to deal with them, which I'm very pleased with. Although, our horse isn't going to survive much longer, and neither are we. Wow, I'm surprised we're still alive, actually. Okay, I want to make sure we can dehorse their cavalry pretty quick. Hopefully mop up some of their infantry. But the fact that we've survived this long in a fight that we're quite outnumbered in against an enemy lord, that's pretty great. Oh yeah, killed uh, level 6. Cavalry. Swatting cavalry is great, so so it's kind of an achievement to knock them knock dead. All right. Oh wow! Yes, nice. Cool, cool, cool. That's the Nord Infantry for you. All right, now let's get everyone to hold there. I want to make sure that we're able to fight as one group rather than as these little spread out pockets. So I'm gonna try to see if I can't get these guys up to be a bit distracted, so we can actually consolidate our force without having to move in it and uh, fight at the same time. But yeah, so, um, and the reason I don't use cavalry is, number one, the Nords don't have cavalry, and it seems to work out fine for them. And the other is, uh, micromanagement, you know, micromanaging your cavalry is a little difficult, and the fact that they, what winds up happening is, with cavalry, you're basically condemning them to be a small small-ish group, right? A relatively small group that has to run into the battle before the rest of the force. So with the AI, they wind up just sort of charging in, you know, doing their cavalry charge. And then um, it just kind of winds up being that they all get slaughtered because they get moshed up against the enemy infantry. Um, they don't have necessarily the best angle of attack and it doesn't usually end well. So that's why I don't usually use cavalry, but of course I make the exception for when I have a large enough force that my cavalry can do a lot of the work, or something like that, you know. So anyway, we've won the battle with very few casualties, and hopefully only 10 killed. Um, six level threes, you know, that's not terrible. And we, whoa, holy shit, yes, awesome, please. We got a level six Nord. These are all Nords, by the way, so this is, this is basically completely making up for, if not more, for all of the <laughs> people we lost. This is amazing. I didn't even realize... Okay, we're at capacity now, so we're going to have to decide. We don't have any level 1s, I don't think, but that's pretty great. So now we're basically just becoming a more dense force. Awesome. This is exactly what I like to see. Alright, nothing useful in here. He upgrades a bunch. Cool. And we will loot Chide, I think. After we upgrade. Do our upgrades. Okay. And we leveled ourselves up. That's right. Boom. Okay, now we can use our new thing. We'll get the Iron Flesh, because that's useful. And I think we'll put another point into Charisma. That way we can get more troops. Because that's what we need right now. And, of course, we don't have enough for trainer. But we'll throw another point into power throw. More damage from our throwing weapons. Anyways, I've been IndieBin. If you've enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. It's great. It really helps me out, and I enjoy reading your comments. Anyways, I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.